All right, guys, how's it going? Right, so I've got about a couple of million worth of assets. Uh, most of it's tied up in my ship, yeah. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is sell this, uh, sell my eagle, sell all the parts first, obviously, so that I don't lose the ten percent. I'm gonna sell the eagle, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give trading a go. I think I'm gonna buy a Type Six, and I mean that's Type Six is gonna cost about half of that two million. Uh, so the other half will go on, you know, stock and and upgrades and stuff like that. But first of all, I'm gonna go on with selling all these upgrades I've got. Right, so there you go. I've got about two point one million credits. Uh, to the shipyard. Right, so I'll leak on type six. It's actually quite fast. Yeah, I didn't actually realise that, but it's actually not slow at all. Um Obviously, it's all about the, the, the cargo capacity, yeah? <laughs> That's why it's called a transporter. Yeah, you got a bunch of uh, large compartments, which I'm probably just going to keep mostly out in... Uh... I'll just go ahead and buy this right now. Kit out in cargo space. Uh... I'm just going to see how many credits I can grind before the boredom crushes me. That's a horrible looking window. I don't intend to be sticking in this for too long, obviously, so... You've got class 5, so I'm guessing these will take 32s. You know, one of the things about this is, cargo racks are way too cheap, really. I mean, they should have made these way more expensive, and that way, you know, it would have been like a natural barrier to trading. They, they wouldn't have had to keep messing around with the, you know, the galactic prices and stuff like that. They should just have made cargo racks more expensive than what they are. Really, this is very cheap. Considering, like, I paid half a million for an Eagle upgrade, and yet a 32 capacity cargo rack is only 112,000. Anyway, right, so it actually comes with a shield on it already. Yeah, it's using the class 3. Right, so I'm just going to stick on another capacity 32 rack. Right, so we've got two fours, a single three, and a couple of twos. Now these fours can certainly hold more than eight, I'm sure about that, yeah? Now of course the capacity 16 is no longer down here because I've just sold one, yeah? Right, uh, discovery scanner. Maybe. Maybe just keep that one. Uh, so I've got the E3 shield. This can fit a size 4. Uh, but I'm going to want a fuel scoop, yeah? Maybe even a, fuel, a shield cell bank. So that B2 in there, I think. And instead of the discovery scanner, I'll go with a fuel scoop. Now this one fuel scoop might not quite be good enough, but there's an E1 there. So that might be pretty good. I've got the shield generator. We've got a decent shield. We've got 64 and 32 is 96 capacity. Which I can tell by looking over here <laughs> rather than counting it. Um, right, so. What is our tactic going to be? Are we going to run? Well, first of all. Might as well take a heat sink launcher. Guess might as well take a chaff launcher. Right, so they can only take small hard points, which makes me think, why why am I bothering? So I'm probably just gonna sell these. I have no intention of fighting anybody, yeah? I'm just going to run. Uh, so selling these gets me the you know, jump range back. My heat sink launcher, just in case I decide to pick up some dodgy gear. And the chaff launcher is in case I... Uh, in case some NPC starts shooting at me or something like that. Right. Now, let's have a look at the power distributor. 
looking for a class 3. There's an A3 there. And I cannot see any good reason not to buy it. And that's without even looking at it. Um, right, jump range is decent. Let's have a look at the frame shift drive. And we're class 4 here, so... Can't afford the A4. The C4 gives me a lot more. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. A nice jump range in that now. Yeah, I'm just slightly over my maximum power, so... Rather than annoy myself working out stuff, I'm just going to buy a better power plant. So, class 3 gives me plenty of power. Right, so that leaves me about 435,000. Now, there's rare trade, which I haven't completely looked at yet. Uh, I realise it's pretty potent. However, we've actually got two rares here. Milk and... Oh, that's quite interesting. However, I believe that there is something very powerful in the game right now with these performance enhancers. Right, so I bought 42 of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these rares while I still can. This is quite a come down from an eagle, by the way, uh, in case you were wondering. It doesn't even feel like I can get out of this letterbox. Pretty bizarre how fast it is, though, it's got to be said. Right, so here's our Seeking Luxuries. Whoa! <laughs> A lot of close to the planet. That's pretty cool, yeah. Right, so we've got Glacon Type 9s. I do believe we just fly close to them. There you go. 317,000 credits received. Just like that. That is not awesome thrusters on this. Alright. No, that's not good. Uh, let's have a look at commodities. We can still buy some uh, rares, yeah? That's the thing about this whole area. It's just crazy. For these are uh, rare goods. I'm going to keep on buying these... Uh, Rails. We've got 51 of these performance enhancers again. I 
Right, so I've got 384,000. So I made about maybe 35,000. It's not that much in all honesty. Uh, it's pretty easy, 35,000 right enough, yeah. Um, it's pretty close by and stuff like that. So my assets are 2.18. So that's about 80,000 credits in almost no time whatsoever. Maybe not that fast. However, I do have a bunch of... Uh, rares now. Which is how I'm, I'm tend intending to make the real money. We're buying the luxuries we can. See, that's about 100,000. It's not great. I mean, 100,000, but what I have done is stocked up on the rares while I've been doing all that. So it's 100,000 while waiting on stocking up rares. Uh, can't argue with that. Wouldn't say it was the most exciting hour I've ever spent, but it's actually quite nice to have a change of pace every so often instead of just like flying around blowing stuff up. Uh, and you do still feel like you're making some kind of progress because clearly, you know, the money's, the money's going up and, you know, those rare goods are going up in my hold. And you're learning a little bit more about the trading thing. Right, so I'm carrying 61 tons of rare goods and I'm trying to get to Empire Space because I've still got this uh, bounty voucher to pick up for 37,000 as well. Engine right, so I made it to Empire Space. I'm not going to be buying that fuel, that's for sure, not at that price. Um, So I'm going to collect my bounty vouchers at least. Now, a quick look at the commodities market and we'll see how much I can sell this for, yeah? Um, it's not great, yeah? It's only a thousand, so I'm obviously going to be looking for, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be flying a bit further away so that I get a bit more for this, yeah? So I'm only about 60 light years away from Leasty, which I think is the closest place that I bought the rears at. So I want to get a bit further away. Right, so I'm about 95 light years away now, and you can see I'm making 7,000 per per ton. It's still not maxed yet, so I've got a bit, a bit to go, you know, maybe another 20 or 30 light years or so. So once I do that, I'm just going to sell it and then I'll think about what I'm going to do next. Right, so basically speaking, that is me, I think. Um, good profits here, 15,000, yeah. That's a little bit more than I was expecting, I've got to say. I certainly wasn't expecting that much.
yeah, not bad at all. The reason I came here is because had I continued on with it, I would have bought some of this uh, ant grub glue from here and just headed back. I think that's a run. You do the diesel, uh, sorry, the diesel lathe type thing, and then you come down here and there's one, the stuff here, there's stuff in Altair, which is nearby. I think you can check up on it, you know. I mean, it's it's okay. I can understand why people, you know, like to do this, just running around hauling stuff. I did it once. I've made. Um, let's have a look at what my statistics say. So. Yeah, I mean, there's a million uh, in that. It took me a few hours because I didn't really know what I was doing and I had to keep checking up and stuff. And as usual, I did it kind of half-assed. So, yeah, but not bad. I mean, there's a million, a million added. Uh, just slightly over a million trading in this. I'm going to lose 100,000 when I get rid of the Type 6 again. Uh, just the 10%. But yeah, no complaints really. People, I can see why people are going to get addicted to this if they're constantly chasing the next big ship. For me though, I just really think I need to get into something a little bit more exciting. Uh, see, you can see there, I've made a million trading on basically what is one rare run and it only had about 60 or 70 units I think. So uh, there's nothing difficult about it. Uh, it's just not really the way that I want to play the game. Right, so I've decided to continue with this uh, rare run. I found myself in Zise, and I'm going to buy 11 of these ant grub glue. Now, I checked the forum for, you know, how to do these, these rare runs and stuff. Uh, there may be more supply of these. So if you wait, I think it's 12 minutes or so, if you wait until, you know, the timer ticks or something, you'll get more. Uh, I'm not too bothered about doing that right now because what I'm going to do is head to another uh, station. Right. Now, if you just type in George, click on the system view, and you're looking for Zan Zanka platform. Zamka platform, yeah, right, so apparently this is another stop for uh, rares. Now, as you can see, it's a extraction and a refinery, so I may as well take stuff there while I'm going. Uh, let's check where I am first, yeah. Agricultural, so this is good, yeah, all I need to do is basically stock up in a bunch of animal meat and... Uh, Take some tea. Some coffee. Right. We can head out there to that George Pantazzi's. Now it's only going to be one jump because I've got a pretty upgraded uh, jump drive now. So we've made it to Zamka platform. I'm just going to sell off all this animal meat. That's decent profit there. And some coffee. And tea. Now obviously I checked the bulletin board first, yeah? Now, we're going to buy these Panta prayer sticks. Now, the next stop should be 39 Tori. Quite far away though, so uh, I mean, you, you might consider it, you know, you might maybe reconsider that one. Um, it's going to be two jumps, if I can make it in two jumps it'd be great, but I don't think I quite can. Uh, yeah, maybe I can. Yeah, I can do that, but I need to be careful about my jump range, yeah? So if I pack up and stuff, if I, if I stock up in a lot of, uh... Yeah. 
I'm not going to take anything here because I want to try and make this jump to 39 Tory and I'm going to go to this Odud, Oduduro place which I can make and then I'll jump directly to 39 Tory. So you do need to be careful about this yeah, when you're, when you're actually hauling stuff as well. You make sure you can you know, make the jumps in as quick a time as you possibly can. Right, so we're in Porta, and they sell Tory chimes. Gonna buy up all those. This has 20 cargo capacity already, sorry, 30 cargo capacity taken up already out of my 96. So we're a third of the way there, almost. Right, so next stop in this rear route is Fujin. This is just a... A little 13 light year jump away. Now, it doesn't matter about taking anything here because we're in a service economy right now, so they don't really produce anything apart from bio waste. So I'm not going to bother with any of that. I'm just going to head out to Fujin. Check the bulletin board and see if there's maybe something to take there, yeah? Uh, you never you never know, you might get lucky. Right, so we're picking up Fujin T at Futin Spaceport. There's only five here. Like I said before, more will respawn, which I will pick up on my way back. Right, so I'm at Fujin and the final stop is at Witch Hall. Right, so we're 23.86 light years away. I can't make it quite yet because I've got too much in my cargo hold now. Uh, but we can stop off, or we take a jump to 41318 first of all. Should we good enough? Again, we're not going to bother taking anything there because this is just a tiny population agricultural, so there's really not much point. Right, so we're in Hornby Terminal, this, in Witch Hall, yeah? This is about, this is as far south as we go. Uh, when we're picking up these rares, doing this run at least, yeah? So, uh, we're looking for... What are we looking for? Oh yeah, Witch Hall Kobe Beef. Now, there's only four tons of it here. You can wait, if you want, another 12 minutes or so. I'm just going to do that, just so I can pick it up, because I don't want to, you know, come back here. So I'm just going to wait a few minutes, or... or 10-12 minutes. I'll time it and so I know exactly how long it takes. Okay, so basically speaking, what I'm going to do now is head back in the same direction I came, uh, which means we're going to be going to, back to Fujin. Uh, we'll be, then be going to 39 Tori again. Then the George Pantazzi's place. Then Zise and finally Altair. And once we get there, we're going to... I'll just have a look at Altair now. Quite far away. I mean, 91 light years. You don't. You maybe not need to really go there. So let's see if I can go. To Zise. Now, it's not that far away. So yeah, I mean, you're heading in that direction anyway, and we're gonna finally end up back in Liste or Lave, up in that area. Yeah. You got a good 100, 180 odd, 190 light years from Witch Hall to Liste. So you know you can sell a lot of the stuff once you get there. Once I get there, I'm, I'm going to buy a, a different ship because, yeah, although this is different, this uh, rare trading thing, it's not really my, my style. Right, so here we go. We've got some Witch Hall Kobe beef back in stock. And I think overall that took about, uh, what was it, eight? About nine minutes from when I first bought it. Um, so, yeah, maybe there's a little random factor in there, not not exactly sure. If you hang around for 10 minutes, it'll restock. Uh, it won't restock again, though, because I believe 9 is the, the maximum that you can take of this particular rare good, yeah? Uh, so, this will never supply, and I think it will just go away. But you won't see this zero high thing. Now, of course, on the back leg, all of this will have respawned. However... It's not respawning in great numbers very quickly in some cases. All of these I've got, you know, 
a maximum amount that you can take, yeah? So you have to decide if it's worthwhile staying. Like this Fujin tea, uh, you can have 10 tons of it maximum, yeah? So I've already got eight. Now, I've, not got, I've got to make the decision of do I wait another 12 minutes or so or 10 minutes for this to respawn just for two tea? I'm not going to do it. Uh, th I mean, that's a choice you, you, you have to make. Now, we're going to get 17 of these Tory chimes, which is, I believe, the maximum. Right, now, for some reason I can't get any more of these prayer sticks, so maybe 10, no, 10 is the, the maximum that you can pick up here, yeah, because as, as you can see, there's none in the supply, so I wasted a trip coming back to this uh, George Pantazzi's place. Right, so we've now maxed out our allocation of the ZC Ant Grub Glue. Which only leaves one more stop to go. It's a place I haven't been to yet. Just type in Altair. Gonna have to jump to probably 61 Signy first. Yeah, we can just make that jump. And then head to Altair. Now you notice I'm not taking any other uh, commodities because it just starts to really interfere with the jump range. And you can end up just you know slowing yourself down even though you can make you know smaller profits at each stop. You just concentrate on the rails, pick them up, and get to your destination. Right, so Alterian skin. There's 20 here. I believe the maximum is 24. So again, this is one of those cases where would you bother waiting uh, for, for only four more. In my case, I'm just going to take a short break, so I might as well just log out here and once I come back, I'll pick up the, the remaining four and then we'll head back to Lee Stay Lave and all that type of thing. Now, there is one more thing though, yeah? Now I'm in Altair, I'm obviously much closer to Lee Stay. I'll just show you. It's only 114 light years, so I'm going to get less for the, I'm going to get less credits for selling these Altair stuff uh, in Liste. So if I wanted, you know, to, to maximise it, I would want to travel a little bit further away. There's a place up here, some place around here uh, that gets you to around about your maximum uh, for for the likes of the Altair stuff and the the ZC uh, ant grub uh, ant glue thing, yeah. So. That's something I maybe think about once I get back there. But for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna log out and, I, and I'll collect the rest of this Altarian skin when I log back on. Right, so there isn't actually any more uh, of these Altarian skins, so 20 must be the maximum. Uh, but that's fine. I've got enough. 82 out of 96 is great. Yeah, this is going to be worth an awful lot. Let's see what I've got. Alright, so 3.26, 3.27 million. So once I cash all these in, we'll see just how much I've made on this one run. Alright, the first thing we're going to do though is we're going to head to Liste, yeah? Hundred and fourteen point seven light years. Alright, this is probably the most difficult part, is actually getting to these places now. Uh, I think the best way to do it is just, you know, look at it as heading towards the north, northeast. If you want to be really smart about it, you would probably stick to safe systems, yeah, you wouldn't start jumping into anarchies and stuff like that, but I'm, there's nothing gonna, you know, I'm not too worried about that. I've got shields and I've got a shield cell bank, so 
<laughs> anything, if anything kills me, I'll be gutted. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I'd, I'd be like you know, topping myself, but I don't think that's going to happen in this trip. Obviously, if you're playing in solo play, this is a completely different thing altogether. Uh, sorry, if you're playing in open play, I just wouldn't do it. There's no incentive. Uh, there's simply no incentive. You could just end up losing two or three hours work for nothing. So why bother? It's something you need to think about in the game, I believe. This is the first I've been interdicted in a very long time and I would really like to escape it. Absolutely no idea what that was. But with 82 tons of rares in my uh, cargo hold, I was pretty focused on getting away from it with whatever it was. Not so keen on hanging around when I see anacondas behind me. Drive Finally, we're back where we started. Now I'm just going to sell the ones that, that are maxed out. Uh, maybe the 150 light year ones here. I'll show you what I mean once I get here because some will be... Some of these uh, rares will give me more money than the others. Like the ones that I picked up in Witch Hall uh, and uh, Fujin will be worth more than the ones I picked up in Altair and Zisi. Right, so just a reminder, yeah? 3.27 million. I'm going to refuel here. Right. I don't want to sell these. I'm only getting eleven and a half thousand, right? But if we look at the Tory chimes, fifteen and a half. Well, it's almost sixteen thousand. But the ZC stuff, it's not quite. It's not bad. It's almost fourteen and a half. Yeah, the Zur milk. Oh, sorry, that's a buy. Uh, the Fujin tea, sixteen thousand. And the witch oil beef, seventeen and a half. Right, so the witch oil one was the furthest away one. Yeah, I can quite happily sell most of this, I believe. And here's one of the things, right? You can pick up some of these advanced catalyzers and sell them on at the next place. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these uh, these beef. That's Kobe beef for 17 and a half. Now, the Fujin tea is worth 16. It's not bad. Fourteen and a half, almost sixteen for those as well. So I'm going to sell those. Right, so that only leaves me the Altarian skin, the Zeste ant grub glue, and is that it? Oh, uh, yeah, these prayer sticks as well. So I'm not going to sell any of these here, especially not the Altarian stuff. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is buy a bunch of uh, advanced catalyzers, which are. Pretty cheap here. And we take these two, won't they? So it's another 35 light years. Um, I've only got 16 jump range. But I guess I can have a look and see if they have got a better uh, FSD drive. Right, so at least it is high tech, yeah, so you maybe find a better frame shift drive here. Looking for an A4, there it is. Now, I can actually buy it, yeah. What a difference it makes as well. So I'm just going to buy that. Yeah, but there's absolutely no reason not to buy it. So that's me maxed out my jump drive.
I'm just gonna launch and head to Winty. Right, so our final stop then, Whimper Landing. Uh, in the Winty system. The only reason we came here again was for the actual, uh, for, the, for the extra distance. As you can see, I'm now getting 15,200 for the Alterian skin. So I'm just going to sell all of that. Now the Ant Grub Glue, 15 and a half as well. And finally, the Prayer Sticks, 16,200. And we also bought a bunch of advanced catalyzers. We got decent profit in these as well. Right. Now, I started off this video with just over 2 million. And I've now got 4.6. So that's 2.5 million. Now, overall, this is taking me about five, six hours, but that's only because I had no idea what I was doing to start with in and around like the Lave and Diso, uh, Liste places. I sort of read up a little bit on it once I got to down to Zise and uh, Fujin and Witch Hall. I sort of figured out by that stage what I was doing, but really, you know, you're picking up rares in and around the systems where they, they are, and then you jump maybe 10 jumps down to the other other hub, yeah? If you just look at it as two hubs, you know, Winty's the furthest away, but really, you know, it's, it's all about Lave and Z-State down here. Uh, you know, Lave, Z-State, or Rare, Usa. Those are the four. Diso as well, maybe? Yeah. Diso, or Rare, Winty, uh, sorry, Diso, or Rare, Lave, and Usa. And Listy, yeah. Pick up rares here, and then basically you would fly down to Altair. It's not really, it's not bad at that. Yeah, 142 is, is pretty decent. Uh, you would get a little bit more if you flew to, if you did what I did at the first, uh, the first time, and go to maybe uh, Zise. You could sell just about everything here at 160 light years distance. And then you'd, you'd basically just do what I did, you know, you'd fly to the Fujin, you'd fly to the 39 Tori place, pick them all up and just head back. It's very lucrative as you can see, two and a half million credits, five, six hours, and that's me not really having much of a clue exactly what I was doing. I just had read like one one forum post on Reddit, uh, and, so, and that sort of, you know, I had, a, I had it up on my screen while I was doing it and... If I had to do this now again, I could probably do it in three hours. Uh, if you just write it down, and you, if you wrote down every single stop on the way, you could have this down to maybe two and a half, three hours, you know, both directions. Uh, and it would certainly be you know, a nice and easy way to make the money. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, that I've done that, is head back to Liste, and I think I'm going to buy myself a Viper and really kit it out with, with the money I've got now.